Today I am going to show you how to transform a hymnal into a beautiful little angel. I don't know how many I have made over the years. I love making these angels. They make great gifts at Christmas, uh, for any time of the year, maybe for your Bible study table, friends, family. So I'm going to take you step by step how you can simply transform a hymnal into a sweet little angel. The first thing you do on making a hymnal angel is you separate out the direction of your folds. The first 50 pages approximately and the back 50 pages fold from the bottom up, creating the wing of your angel. So just one by one, we fold from the bottom up and turn the page back each time. And you do that for the first 50 pages, and then you go to the back and I'm going to continue that off camera, but I'm going to go 50 pages. Then you go to the back and you turn them up 50 pages from the bottom up. Okay, so then the interior pages make the dress of the angel. So I'm in the front of the book right now. And I'm going to go back to hymn number 50. And they don't have to be precise. As you see, this will start filling up quite nicely. Um, so approximately 50 in the front and 50 in the back. And then on the dress, instead of folding up from the bottom, you fold down from the top. So we fold down from the top, turn the page down from the top. Ever since I was a young girl, I um, made homemade gifts for my aunts. I, I'm talking when I was in second and third grade, and some of the gifts weren't good. Uh, decoupage soap and things like that. But it wasn't very many years ago that I made each of them one of these angels. To find the hymnals, I uh, actually, one of the times that I made a batch of them, I found some at... Um, a church. Another time I found a couple at a thrift store and then one time I actually ordered them from eBay. Uh, so you can just keep your eye out for hymnals. So you're going to continue this for 50 or the first 50 is going to fold up. The rest of them are going to fold down to the top and I don't know that it's necessary. It just made the dress lay really nice. You're going to be going this direction and then at some point you're going to be coming from the back and you're going to be folding. So this will come this way and this will come this way at some point in the center of the book. Um, that might not make that sense now until you start folding, but you'll see that this is approximately the center of the book. So this one will fold down this way and this one, let me get my fingers on it, will fold this way. So you turn the page and you just keep folding. I'm going to work on the head now, and I put down a uh, drop cloth to catch that, that uh, decorative grass is just messy, messy. So I'm just put down the tablecloth so that we can catch the grass. So you put the pantyhose, and I got this at the, the pantyhose at the, the dollar store. So we're just going to cover it that way, tie a knot in the bottom, and cut off the excess. So there you have the, the head and now we are going to glue on decorative grass for the hair. So you just need a little bit. I'm going to cover the, the toe seam here. So I'm just going to kind of lay it around to get a nice look. I have never claimed to be a beautician so this is about as close as I will get to doing anyone's hair. And I have my glue gun. Just going to plaster. Oh, 
looks like she has a bald spot. Okay. So here what we is what we have so far. So I would consider that the front of her face. And here is the back. And so that would be the back of her neck. Looking at it, she might need a little bit more hair there. So I'm going to put a little glue. Now we need to draw some eyes. And the, it's just um, the look that I really like is just a little bit of a closed eye with a few little uh, marks below to mimic eyelashes. So I have a little eyes drawn on. The halo is super simple uh, to make. Just take a pipe cleaner and create a circle by weaving the ends around each other. So there's the halo and it just sits nicely on uh, the grass and typically um, it won't have to get glued on there but I like to put just a dab at the base of the halo, dab of glue to hold the halo in place. So I just put the piece that I glued, or I, the where I winded it into each other, holding it there for a second, and now she has a nice little halo. You use the shish kebab stick, or you can use a pencil, to um, insert the doll head into the hymnal. So find a spot that is directly down to where her neck would be, and put the shish kebab stick in quite a fair amount up. At this point, you take a doily, and you insert the stick through the center of the doily, and this becomes the collar for the angel's dress. If you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe button so that you can see all of the other videos that we have for repairs around the house as well as gift ideas. But thanks so much for joining DIY on the house.